way home. Monsoon rain in Flagstaff has left some people dealing with the muddy floodwaters even inside their homes. Team 12's Colleen Secor is up in Flagstaff for us tonight as people assess the damage and brace for more storms. All across Flagstaff's east side, there is debris, mud, logs, and more that were washed down in the rain, leaving a lot of people cleaning up and trying to put things back together. In a flash Wednesday, Steve's Boulevard in Flagstaff turned into something seemingly out of a movie. And the water was probably all the way up to here. Melissa Spear and looking out her mudroom, finding this. Just basically this huge river of debris and logs and trees. Outside, her fence keeping in everything flowing down. It was at one point overflowing over and onto the car. But if you think it doesn't look good outside. The bathtub, that seam right there, there was just water gushing. Her home taking on water. We, I had just like cleaned all the carpets and repainted everything um, because we moved in 29 days ago. <laughs> Steve's Boulevard turned river. Even carrying Syra Brewster's car that was parked in front of her house. Here is where she stopped. The 10 year old car completely paid off, now headed to the salvage yard. Boy, did she go out with a bang. <laughs> it was a rush of water. We know that the gauge that's close by recorded over two and a half inches of rainfall in an hour. Lucinda Andriani, Deputy Coconino County Manager, says this was just one of two events the city dealt with. The flooding on the east side of Flagstaff and flooding off the museum fire burn scar. Between the two events, Andriani says about 10 homes had flooding inside. And I fully expect that we could be seeing events like this in the flood area, particularly through the middle of September. For now, Melissa has people helping her and her family clean up. We're just Holding on by a thread for sure. As they wait for the next storm. With more rain expected, county officials are asking people to stay away from those floodwaters when they do come into town to keep people safe. We're in Flagstaff, Colleen Sakura, 12 News. Colleen, thanks.